What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you a really nifty way to line your bread tin using grease proof or regular baking parchment. This is the perfect solution for you if you have old bread tins like I do that are just not non-stick anymore, if they ever really were. And it is also a fantastic zero waste hack because this liner can be used upwards of five to 10 times, depending on how gentle you are with it every time you bake. If you like the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more of my zero waste and baking focused content. Now let's get into the instructions. It's a bit tricky, but bear with me. Sometimes it's just easier to watch what somebody is doing. So let's roll out our grease proof paper and give your loaf tin about four or five inches on either side. It is important that you give this space right at the very beginning because that is what is going to cover the sides of your tin. Next then, fold in each side of the paper from the edge of your loaf tin. So once you fold it in both sides, you'll end up with a folded piece of greaseproof paper that is the same length as your loaf tin. And trust me, this will all make sense as we go along. Next step, place the greaseproof paper into the loaf tin as evenly as you possibly can. So as you can see here, I'm just checking that both edges of my paper match up evenly. We're doing our best to be even while we're making the loaf liner, not just for aesthetics, but actually so that the liner is functional at the end. Go ahead and trace with your finger the outline of the base of your loaf tin. So you can see the lines that we have here, which is essentially the outline of the loaf tin. Go ahead and fold those over really well. Every line that we are tracing here ends up being quite important as we go along. This next step is probably the trickiest part. So I'm going to form this sort of C or L shape with my index finger and my thumb that is aligned on the base line that we've just drawn. And I'm going to hold that part of the lining in place while I grab this loose piece of paper on the right hand side, fold it up and then smooth out those lines. So you end up with this almost triangle shape. And hopefully you can see the outline of the loaf liner starting to take shape here. What's happening is we are creating a sealed liner where there are no cuts. So there is nowhere for your bread mixture or your cake mixture to actually seep out. So this folding, although tedious, is really important. And I'm going to repeat the exact same process on the other side, holding down that flap of paper with my right hand, and folding up and over with my left. If there is any loose paper, just like you see here, overlapping that line on the right and the left hand side, just take your scissors and cut that piece off, just to make sure that everything is nicely lined up and balanced. So placing the paper inside the tin, you can see the liner starting to take shape and the steps that we've done so far start to come together. If everything has lined up correctly and you've folded your lines properly, you will have a fold line that sits right on the corner of your bread tin. Take your scissors and cut down that line to the edge of your bread tin. Fold that piece of paper down and you end up with these almost little handles on your greaseproof loaf liner that actually come in really handy when it comes to taking your loaves out of the oven. And my final step is on either end of the loaf tin to cut off that excess paper. We now have a perfectly lined bread tin using a reusable bread liner that doesn't allow for any leakage, any spillage, and will prevent your breads and cakes from sticking to your tin. I hope you found these instructions useful and I hope that you have fun making your own reusable bread tin liner. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit subscribe and I will see you back on my channel very soon. Bye.